Thank you. I guess I should talk to Sheehan. Oh, Yuito, perfect timing. Could you come and help me in the kitchen? Okay, what's the matter? What is this? I can't really see with the sensor in place. What in the world is on that plate? I thought I'd reward everyone with some homemade cooking for all the hard work they've been putting in. What? This is food? It has a really intense smell. That must be from all the spices. I'm actually not very good at cooking. This is beyond not very good. I wanted to get your advice because I know you're a really good cook. I want to make everyone happy. I see. Well, if that's the case, I'd love to help you. I'm not sure what exactly I can do about this, though. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Okay, I'll start with a vegetable stir-fry. Can you watch me? Done. Vegetables are so important for a balanced diet. Hmm. Why is this being censored again? I don't think this has much nutritional value. Let's start with something more simple, like fried eggs. Done. That was really simple and easy. Oh, there's the sensor again. That's so strange. How can you do this just from frying an egg? I almost feel like giving up. Now, what dish is coming next? Ow! Are you all right? I'm sorry. Hold on. It'll stop hurting if I take a short break. Are you sick or something? It's something chronic. I've had someone else's memories implanted inside my brain as part of my mission. The memories of Dr. Hitoyo Pope, Togetsu's founder. They sometimes give me headaches. One time, her memories temporarily became stronger, and I almost forgot who I was. That sounds really dangerous. Yes, I may have fought her off once, but I never know when her memories will surface again. I thought I'd cook to distract myself, but it didn't work. I wonder if this will plague me for the rest of my life. If this doctor's memories are a part of you, then maybe. Y yes you're right I don't mean that in a bad way. I've been worried lately, too. You have? Yeah. There's so much I don't know that could happen with my brain or with the world. But I don't let these situations stop me. I keep moving forward. That led me to become friends with all of you. The future always comes with a sense of uncertainty. But it's not necessarily bad. I'm sure you're right. I never felt uncertain or worried when I was in Togetsu. In exchange, I had to bury all my feelings. Right now, I'm scared about the future. But I get to live my life the way I want. Yeah, you're so animated now. Thank you. I'm scared of the doctor's memories because I care so much about who I am now. Okay, my headache is gone. Let's get back to cooking. All right. Let me try to think of a dish you can actually make. I know. How about a rice ball? Oh, that's very homey. What should I wash the rice with? I'll make the rice. You just shape them. Okay, that was some hard work. But we managed to do it. I think. They didn't quite end up in the shape you showed me. But I'm pretty proud of them. Let's go hand them out to everyone. I see you cook. I just remembered about something I have to do. Would it be okay if I left for a while? Is this a rice ball? I'm sensing something sinister. I'm not getting near that thing. Keep it away from me. They're so scared. And I understand where they're coming from, though. Don't worry, they're edible. See? How... Mm. You're right. They don't look great, but they taste all right. I guess if you say they're okay... Oh, you're right. It's good. <sighs> we managed to get everyone to eat them. They had pretty nice things to say as well. This is amazing. It's the first time I've ever been complimented on my cooking. 
Really? I guess that's not surprising. I didn't know you'd be so happy. I'm most happy about learning and applying something new on my own. Something that wasn't from Dr. Pope's memories. I see. I guess making rice balls wasn't something the doctor bothered to learn. If I continue to challenge myself like this every day and bring joy to people, building my own memories, maybe one day the doctor's thoughts will become a thing of the past. I'm sure you're right. I wouldn't feel this helpful if it wasn't for you. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. Knowing that you watch over me gives me the motivation I need to do my best every day. I can't believe that little child is standing here in front of me right now, teaching me so much. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you don't need to compare me to the past. No, you're not a child anymore. I have to grow too. To not fear the uncertainty of the future, and to move forward. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Really? The next time, I'll make rice balls without your help, and you can taste them. What? Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. Yuito, are you hungry? Does it hurt anywhere? Would you like a massage? I'm fine. Oh no, I overdid it again. But you give off this vibe that makes me just want to protect you. <laughs> so much closer to you lately. It feels very warm. It's a little embarrassing, but I feel better talking with you, too. Oh, Yuito. Sorry, I have some minor business to take care of. Okay. I guess I'll see you later, then. I haven't really seen him since we talked. I wonder where he's going on his minor business. Hey, Yuito! I heard a strange report. Something about Kagero being placed into custody at OSF headquarters. What? What happened? I don't know the specifics, but the chief may have figured out that he's the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. This is moving too fast. It's my brother, so he might do something rash. How did Kagero get himself caught so easily? I'm going to see if I can get to the bottom of this. Kaito! What are you doing? I'm doing what you couldn't. I'm finishing this. Huh. How very decisive of you, Chief. An execution with no trial. I like the cut of your jib. Don't be stupid. Nothing will change if you go through with this. You're a fool if you think I'm going to let you stop me. I'm not as forgiving as you. Not as forgiving? I always thought you were much nicer than him. You can talk all you want, but don't think it will change your fate. I'm going to make you pay for your crimes with your life. Oh yes, please do get on with it. I'd honestly prefer it that way. What did you say? Kagro? I know I need to atone for what I did, but really, repentance is so not my style. Plus, I come from the same time as Yakumo, your ancestor. People can only live for so long. So, if you can just go ahead and pull that trigger and put an end to this, Chief, I'll thank you from the other side. <sighs> now! Put the gun down, Kaito. I won't let you kill Kagero. Why do you protect him? There isn't a single reason to let him live. Even putting aside my emotions as his son, killing Joe Sumeragi is a serious crime. He was necessary for the future of this nation. Not only did he steal our father, he stole our country's future. <sighs> I know that. That's why I won't kill him. That's why I won't let him die. Kagero has a responsibility to build a new future and replace the one he stole. Until he fulfills that, he can't die. <sighs> I won't let him die, no matter how much he wants to. 
So please, leave Kagero's life in my hands. Fine. I understand. I don't like it, but he's yours. For now. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you make any wrong moves, there won't be a next time. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Did you get caught on purpose? I just wanted to set things straight for everyone. The chief is your brother, which means I killed his father too. So I thought it best to face him, at least once, just like I did with you. I meant to have a peaceful conversation, but one thing led to another and... No, I think you were well aware that my brother would probably kill you. The way I was talking? That was a bluff. I knew he wouldn't pull the trigger. I still have things I need to do. I'm pretty sure that's only half true. Well, who knows for sure. Could you just stop being so shifty, just for once? You may want to die, but I won't let you. Like I said, your life is in my hands now. You'll live in my father's place, and you will fulfill your responsibility. <sighs> thanks. Are you sure you want to thank me? You said it yourself, dying would have been easier. Still, I feel like I should thank you. Because of you, I have another reason to live now. I was totally empty. I felt almost like a ghost. But you believe I'll take responsibility as long as I live, so I guess I can't just run away. Kagero? I used to only think about the past. So I never really looked at what was there, right in front of me. The responsibility to build a new future. Well, you did grace me with your trust. I'll do all I can to make it happen. Good. So will I. And I'll be keeping a close eye on you as well. All right. Well, I guess it's time to contribute to society. Let's go out for a night on the town to revitalize New Himuka's economy. <sighs> Seriously? Your ability to change gears like that will never cease to amaze me. Thanks. Now, we're gonna party all night. You're not going to do that strange Baki impression anymore? Oh, that? I don't do that anymore. I can't surpass Baki by just copying him. What? I didn't know you were striving to become a mascot. <laughs> you fool. I'm already as beloved as any mascot. I just thought it was a little sad to leave your support to an inanimate character. That's all. I know you have my back. Are you sh- Sure you want to trust me to have yours? What? Don't worry, I trust you to have my back too. A second, Yuito. There's somewhere I'd like to take you. Okay. Where are we going? The cemetery near Sumuragi Tomb. 
I'm going to go pay respects to my friend Masaki. There wasn't a body we could bury, but his brother added his name to the family grave. So he has a proper grave. Yeah, let's go. Are you sure you don't need more time? No, this was enough. He already knew everything I wanted to tell him. I was thinking about what went down at Mizuhugawa. There were so many people discarded that way. Yeah. We only found one truck's worth, but I'm sure there were many more before it. They say that many retired soldiers die quickly or go missing. I thought it was just the toll of serving in the OSF. But it could be all the government's doing, trying to secure the brains they need. I wouldn't be surprised if the government did that. It's chilling to think about. They use what's useful and discard what isn't. People are just tools to this nation. But we aren't tools. We have a chance for another life when we can't fight anymore. I won't forgive them for taking away that possibility and discarding them like trash. I feel the same. That's the way they treated my best friend. You mean Nagi? Yeah. He and Masaki both had so much life ahead of them. We need to end these types of things from happening in our lifetime. I thought that my role in the OSF was ending. But it looks like there's this giant task still left. I want to right this nation's wrongs and protect the future. As someone who is still remaining. You're not planning on doing that all by yourself, are you? I'd like to help, too. Thanks. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Well, shall we head back to the hideout? Wait, there's somewhere I want to stop by. Okay, where are we going? I wanted to go to this restaurant, but I couldn't bring myself to go in alone. I'd be grateful if you came with me. Surprise original Gyoza Suzaku. That's an impressive sounding place. I became more interested in food since our last excursion. I started looking up trendy new restaurants on food websites when I have time. So, you have a new hobby. Is it nearby? Yeah. I realized when I looked at the website that Masaki and I used to go there together all the time. The restaurant's name and atmosphere completely changed after the previous owner died, so I hadn't visited since. But there's no point in only looking at the past. I have to try the new gyoza for myself. Their popular dishes are the Ogre Hell Gyoza and Final Dragon Gyoza? Hard to imagine those are names for food. It doesn't matter what their names are. What matters is how they taste. It's good to be adventurous. <laughs> You're right. Although, that's not something you would have said just a short while ago. Perhaps. I was too stubborn. I need to be less afraid of trying new things. I'll honor Masaki's memory by enjoying what life I have left. You look at peace. I think you've gotten younger. Don't be ridiculous. But a weight has been taken off my shoulders. It's been a while since I felt this way. All right. Let's try these surprise gyoza then. Eat as much as you like. It's my treat. Maybe we can take some back to the hideout for everyone. That's a good idea. I just hope they taste as strange as their names. No kidding. Yuito, will you train with me later? I work. Sure. Got it. I'll be. I'm devoting my. Do whatever you think is right, Yuito. Thanks. I don't have to second guess anything when you're with me. Are you going somewhere, Shiden? Yeah, 
I'm going to see the thunderclouds. Thunderclouds? Is there a storm coming in? Is it safe to be outside? Apparently these are the biggest in decades. This is a chance to see real lightning. It's a little dangerous, but I can't pass it up. Wow. Now that I think of it, I've only ever seen images of real lightning. Oh, I don't mind if you tag along, if you're interested. Sounds fun. I'll take you up on that. All right, then get ready. We'll miss the thunderclouds if we take too long. I've never seen him this excited. See those big black clouds over there? Those are thunder clouds. Wow, cool. The clouds look like mountains. So the lightning will come from there? The forecast said it should be soon. I wonder what kind of lightning it'll be. You really like lightning, don't you? Is it because of your power? Yeah. It feels familiar. And it might give me a clue for using my power. I also love the remote and powerful image of lightning. I'd like to be like that. Remote and powerful. That does sound like him. Oh, a lightning strike! Did you see that? Yeah, that's crazy. I just kind of tagged along, but this is way better than I expected. Whoa, that was close. I saw it so clearly. Hey, Shiden! Lightning is really cool! Damn right! <laughs> what did you expect? Why do you sound so proud? It's so beautiful. That powerful light. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. The clouds are breaking up. It's over. <sighs> that was awesome. It was. You seem down. Are you sad that it's gone? Yeah. But it got me thinking, too. Compared to that awesome force, my power is nothing. Well, you're up against a natural phenomenon. Of course a human can't stand up to that. I know that. It's not just lightning. Even compared to other people. I'm weak. I wanted to be as strong as Captain Seto someday. I thought if I worked hard, I could be a Septentrion. I worked for years like that, but I still have no title. I'm still just... Shiden. I know that I'm stronger than I was before, but maybe this is as strong as I'm going to get. That's not like you. Is earning the title of Septentrion that important? Of course it is. It's the OSF's proof of strength. If I have it, no one can say I'm not good enough. I don't disagree that the Septentrions are amazing, but there are powerful people like Arashi that don't have any special titles. You're strong too. I think so, and so does everybody else. Isn't that enough? I want more solid proof of my strength, so that everyone has to accept it. The reason everyone appreciated Captain Seto wasn't just because of his strength in battle. He was able to move people. He encouraged them and made them brave. He had strengths that I don't have. My plan was to use this mask once I thought I had reached his level. But if that day won't come, then maybe I shouldn't have it. Don't say that. Captain Seto had it made just for you. He had this mask made because he thought I would become strong like him. As long as I can't meet those expectations, I can't wear it. Don't be stupid. That's not Captain Seto's mask. It's your mask. So you have to use it. You don't have to be like him. What? I look up to him too, but his strength is different from ours, just like you said. And it's fine that it's different. 
Each of us are strong in our own ways. Strong in my own way. Pretty wise words for a rookie. I was being a little arrogant, but you know what I mean. In his message, Captain Seto did say that I should trust my own strength. He knew even back then what I was lacking. Looks like I've been worrying about the wrong things. Lightning's beauty isn't meant to be compared to anyone else. And it doesn't exist to receive a title. It just exists. And it's known throughout the world. That's the strength I need. You look like you feel better. <laughs> I wasn't feeling bad in the first place. I was just a little confused. But not anymore. That mask suits you. Of course it does. It was made for me. I guess I should thank you. I won't say this is thanks to you, but if we hadn't talked, my mind wouldn't have changed. Well, you're welcome. If you keep this up, it won't be long before you're a Septentrion. No, I don't need some worn-out title like Septentrion anymore. I want to be more. The best of the best. A title from someone else wouldn't suit me. My name itself will be synonymous with strength. So the highest title in the OSF will be Shiden? <laughs> I don't think anyone would want that. That's fine. That strength is only for me to achieve. I don't think that's quite right either, but I get the gist of it. Then I'll do my best to be the strongest Yuito. <laughs> <laughs> Now there's a title that's far from your reach. You have a lot of work to do. Hey, don't overdo it. Yeah. Thanks, Shiden. That was awfully straightforward. Listen, I'm not being friendly with you. It's just that keeping yourself in good condition... What are you doing? I hate when you make that stupid face. It's good being able to push each other to greater heights. talking about us though yeah yeah but I'm hoping our relationship is like that good timing will you go to Kikuchiba with me yeah sure why Kikuchiba I thought we could go somewhere to talk like when we went to Mizuhagawa we won't need lunch I just want oh god no lunch huh Let's go to the roof of that building. I want to talk somewhere I can see the sky. Got it. There are a lot of others here. Like always. They'll be easy for us if we work together. Let's go. I'm going to get stronger. Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Hey, do you remember when we came here together before? A lot has happened since then. 
Before? When was that? You don't remember? You asked me if there was anyone I liked out of the blue. You know, when we went looking for Captain Seto's fountain pen. You said you were doing a background check. Oh, that. Back then, I had no idea that we'd get caught up in something that involved the whole world. Not just us, but everyone around us, too. It's nothing we could have expected. You're right. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Two large groups of others were confirmed near you. There are a lot of them. More than you usually see around there. It shouldn't be a problem for you two, but be careful. So, how should we go about this? Let's split up. We can work more efficiently that way. All right. I'll go this way. I'll contact you when I've cleaned most of them up. I'm counting on you. Ah. <sighs> Wataru wasn't joking. That sure is a lot. I hope Kasane is okay. Oh. There's more of them than I thought. How are things with you, Yuto? Kasane? What's going on? Wataru, what's the situation? Damn, I can't get through. Is the network down? I can't even use SAS. Calm down. It's all right. I can do this. It's so quiet. I can't hear anything. It's like I'm really alone. No, this is what normal really is. I was so used to always being connected to someone through SAS. If I lose my power and go back to being a dun, it will always be like this. It's strange, though. I'm not as scared as I thought I would be. I thought I would feel more lonely. Is it because of... I can hit it! It's over! Stronger? <laughs> Probably not. I can feel it in my bones that Kasane is fighting somewhere. Even by herself. I know she won't give any ground. So I can't just die here. No way! Keep it up. 
Still down? We almost got it. We can finish this if we attack together. Let's do this! was a close one it was I wasn't really all that worried I assumed you would act when you did <laughs> I was nervous I guess we can work together even without SAS I don't think I could have pulled it off with someone else thank you for getting the timing right <laughs> it's nice to hear a compliment from you you're always so harsh am I well whatever let's make our way to the top We can see the moon from here. It's beautiful. So, what was it you wanted to talk about? When the fighting is over, what do you plan to do? I have a vague idea. It might be too grand, so you'll probably laugh. I won't laugh, no matter what it is. Thanks. I want to change the world. Change the world? Yeah. We've both seen a lot of bad things in this country. The world that we live in now is built on so much sadness and sacrifice. That's true. Suo, Seiron, and Togetsu. There were people suffering everywhere. So many people's lives were turned upside down because of the desire for the strongest power, or using powers to alter time. It's got to end. This world can't exist just for powers. I won't let what happened to Nagi happen to anyone else. That's the least I can do for him. That's why I want to change the world. To make it a place where people don't have to rely on powers for everything. I know it will take a long time, but I feel like as a dud, I'm the perfect person for it. A dud, that's right. How's your head? They were saying you might lose your power. No big change at the moment. But if it really comes down to it, I'm prepared to become one again. You're pretty calm about it. The way you were talking, I thought you would be a little depressed. I mean, it will be inconvenient. But you know what? I'm not the least bit afraid. I thought the same thing when the network went down. Like I was fighting back to back with you, even without SAS. You thought the same thing? I wonder if that's what it feels like to lose your power. We're not just connected by SAS. Even if we can't see each other's faces or hear each other's voices, the most important thing, our connection, doesn't go away. So I'll be alright. That's good. When we first met, 
I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to count on you in a fight. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling you thought that. But you're different now. I think you really can change the world. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm relieved as well. I feel like I can leave this world to you. Leave? What are you planning to do? Well, I haven't decided on a clear goal yet. But I've sort of been thinking of something outside this world. Like, outside of New Himuka? You mean the moon? I've been thinking about it ever since I heard humanity came here from the moon. Outside this world is another world that I know nothing about, filled with people who are a mystery to me. They're suffering, just like the people here. They are attacked by others, and turning into them. Once I realized that, I couldn't ignore it. I thought maybe I could help somehow. The moon... I thought I understood the first time I heard about it, but the scale is just too big. It doesn't seem real at all. I certainly never thought about saving the people that live there. You really are amazing. I'm not amazing at all. I just don't want to regret neglecting the people I could have protected. I always felt that you were the kind of person that would step up to protect people, even if you're alone. It's almost as if you're not afraid of anything. I looked up to you when I was a kid. I wanted to be just like you. I think you're plenty like me. And you're giving me too much credit thinking I'm never afraid. As you said before, the most important connections never go away. You mean Naomi? Not just her. The memories of my mother. And the time I spent with all of you. The only reason I'm not as afraid as I should be is because I know they'll always be with me. I know that they'll always be here, inside my heart. So, even if you're alone, you're never really alone? I kind of like that. That's why I feel like I can go anywhere, even going beyond the sky. <laughs> I know that sounds like a dream. I think you can do it. No. I know you can. Thank you. So, it looks like you and I will be going our separate ways. It won't just be us. I think everyone will find their own path and slowly drift farther apart. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me sad. But even apart, we're still friends. Yeah. Okay. We should probably get back to the hideout. There's so much to do before and after a fight. We just have to take care of what's in front of us. Though, listening to you made me excited for the future. It won't be easy for either of us, so let's do our best. Both in our own places. Absolutely. I promise I'll make a better future, no matter how long it takes. You can take your time, but if you take too long... I'll bring peace to the moon and come back before you're done. Oh, so it's a competition now. I know you hate to lose.